An independent report backed by the mayor says Liverpool must be connected to future high-speed rail or risk becoming a third-rate city. A centre-right think tank proposes that Liverpool could fund two-thirds of the cost of HS2, uh, two-thirds of the three billion pounds cost rather of HS2. Our political editor Arif Ansari reports. Liverpool's new deep water port, Liverpool 2, is due to open soon. It should bring more freight to be unloaded and transported, but that means using roads unless another 2, HS2, is connected. It's not just about the speed, it is about that connectivity, it is about creating that capacity, that extra capacity. Uh, you know, we've got to get that freight from Liverpool, for instance. The, the M62, the M6, the 57, all becoming car parks. The plan is to run high-speed trains from London to Crewe and then Manchester, but trains from Crewe to Liverpool would remain at today's speed. At the moment, trains between London and Manchester or Liverpool take two hours and eight. HS2 would cut Manchester to one hour eight, but Liverpool to one hour 36, suddenly becoming half an hour slower than Manchester. That, says the report's author, would put Liverpool at a serious disadvantage. It would be like being relegated, not just from the Premier League uh, to the Championship, but even lower. And we know from history that this is what happens. And it's vital because people are already making investment decisions and they're deciding to go to Manchester. They're deciding to go to Birmingham. And they're not deciding to come for Liverpool because Liverpool already looks like a destination that's too far away, too difficult to get to. The new £3 billion line would also be used to run trains across the Pennines from Liverpool to Hull, what's called HS3. Tricky, say engineers. You generally keep uh, a high-speed train separate from uh, the more conventional lines, um, just for the, the practicality that they are running at different speeds, um, and often there are different specification requirements for, for the two different trains. The report recommends using Lime Street Station and says the city region should be willing to pay for it. But even if Liverpool takes out a £2 billion loan, it would still need another billion from government. Arif Ansari, BBC North West Tonight, Liverpool.